I recently uh, posted something to my group where uh, it was talking about the pause button mentality and pausing your plan only reinforces the skill of pausing because pausing leads to stopping for most times. It, it, it represents a way of thinking that's on or off because if you're pausing it, that means you're at zero for that instant, for however long you wanna pause. And if you hold pause for a few days, you're actually stopped. Like your screen is gonna turn off. It's no longer paused on the, the video that you're on. Your screen goes to sleep and you've stopped. And then maybe you forget, you come back and you're like, oh wow, I was watching this. This is you and your plan. Stop thinking about pausing. Pausing is not a thing because no matter what you're doing, you're always moving in one direction or another. Your pause is technically saying no to your goal entirely. Because for that time period, you're doing absolutely nothing. And of course, things happen. Family member gets rushed to the hospital. You have to work late. Kids have to go to soccer practice. You have to bring the dog to the vet. It's busy, you're leaving for vacation in a couple of days. You're, you're taking time off work. You gotta get some projects done. Of course, things happen. But most of those things allow you to do something towards your goal and not pause or stop entirely. You might not have been able to do everything you wanted to, what you would make consider pl play, pressing play, but you can at least do something. Maybe slow it down a little, turn the volume down if you want to call it that because that's the skill you want to reinforce. You want to reinforce the volume skill and not the stop, start, pause skill. You want to learn how to be resilient and continue even when life throws you a curveball, even when life gets hard, there are things you can do. And if you are a listener of the Insight Change podcast, there's a number of examples of people who have had extremely challenging lives and points in their life and episodes and decades that weren't the optimal for their goal but they still found a way because they said to themselves there is no way I'm going to do nothing there's no way I'm gonna pause this for the next five to ten years as my kids grow up as these health issues for my parents uh, continue as I get this promotion, whatever it might be. Pause leads to stop. Practicing pause practices that skill, practices stopping. So instead, it's about the volume. Unless, you know, we talk about 80-20, that's the example of the volume. Maybe it's not, you're able to do 100%. You're not able to crank that knob to 10 out of 10. Maybe you turn that knob down and make it a five or a six or a four or a three or a two or a one as long as it's not zero or off. So do something, whatever that might be, whatever small action that you could continue to maintain momentum. Maybe it's a five minute walk instead of your 10K jog. Maybe it's a, you track your meals instead of being able to make your meals for the week. Maybe it's you do a seven minute workout instead of your 45 minute boot camp that you normally do. Maybe it's you make sure you, you turn your computer off 10 minutes earlier than you normally do so you get a little bit more sleep to recover from all the stress you're going through. You, maybe it's drinking, reminding yourself to drink water even while you're sitting in the room, the waiting room at the hospital because you have a family member that's sick. You gotta be able to do something to maintain because you're not gonna be able to be on and off because that means for the majority of the time you're practicing being off. So get back into the idea of turning that knob on, up or down, not on or off. Turn the intensity up, turn the volume up when you can and turn it down when you have to. So stop practicing the skill of pausing.